Morning. I'm Mark. Welcome back to uh, the Chiron in southwest France. It's a bit chilly this morning, although the sun looks absolutely amazing. The garden looks lovely. It's very quiet. That's why I feel like I've got to whisper. Um, yeah, I don't know what the weather's going to do. There's some rain around today. Um, I've got those bulbs to put in. Well, I've got loads, a million things to do in the house, obviously. Uh, I'll just show you my workshop door. I, uh, I open it every morning and uh, it stays open all day long. This is how I've dried the workshop out for the last six months. I'm pretty sure some people have never seen the door before. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'll show them the door because my, uh, my old gate over there, which used to be the front door on the house, People have suggested I use for the workshop, but no, the door's fine, it's good. Uh, the sun is streaming into the workshop and that has helped dry it over the last five or six months or four or five months. Uh, so yeah, where to start this morning? I think when you live in a fairly modern house in uh, the UK or wherever, Australia, America, wherever, um, you don't really think about, um, you know, you don't really think about the house, do you? You just sort of get out of bed, put the heat on, put the kettle on, have some breakfast, whatever, you just sort of, you don't think about it. So uh, for me to, you know, spend 50 years doing that and then come and do this, you know, it's, it takes a little bit of time. I'm still getting used to being here. It's, it's, it's wacky. I, can't, I have to pinch myself that I'm actually here. Um, so yeah, you have to prioritize uh, very differently here than what you would do living in a, a modern house. I'm sure there's people living in modern houses in France that just get up, put their heating on, blah, blah, blah. So every morning I have to sort of say to myself, right, what are you going to do today? And he'd look at the house and go, right, that needs doing, that needs doing, that needs doing. So uh, 10 o'clock last night, I oh know, about half past nine last night, I was, I was sitting on my bed, editing a video, and uh, I've got this cold, like, air conditioning breeze blowing down the back of my neck. And it was the wind and the rain last night was, you know, was uh, pretty heavy. And, uh, yeah, I've got this breeze. I'm thinking, no, no, I'm past this point. I'm past this point of having you know, just air casually coming into the house. So, uh, yeah, half past nine last night, I'm up a ladder, standing on my bed. I'm, I'm uh, injecting, uh, oh, I'll show So I'm injecting spray foam into the gap between the beam and the wall. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, I did, um, I did this job here and it was a truly hideous job. Um, it was so dirty. And uh, to be honest, I did a really good job. I mean, I don't often pat myself on the back, but that came out really, really good. And I went along the wall as well over there, just filling in the gap that was around the edge of the wall between the room the attic, if you like. Um, there is insulation in the loft, um, but obviously where it meets the wall, there's a gap, isn't there? There can be a gap. And uh, that's obviously something that I've got to address over there. Now, I think I was pretty successful with my spray foam efforts last night, but um, I need to take out, that, take out that infill strip that's been really badly done, just thrown up there and do a really neat job. Um, I don't have enough timber to do the job. I've just had a look. So I need to go and get some more. Uh, maybe I'll do that today or in the morning. Um, but yeah, I need to get that job done soonish because the weather's definitely changing. Um, yeah, I'm not going to start talking about the wood stove again other than to say that uh, one of the comments or a couple of the comments were, yeah, just put it on hold this year. And I'm tempted to do that. But it's only September, so we've got October, November, December, January, February, March. You know, six months of chilly weather. I mean, January, February will be cold. And I was chatting to a neighbour a couple of weeks ago, and he said it got down to minus 15 here one year, and his central heating packed up completely. So I think wood is kind of like an emergency um, backup system. I'm not sure if I can afford to heat this house on, uh, using electricity only. Um, if that makes if that makes sense to do that, I'm not sure. This is the, these are the things I'm thinking about. Wood's old old school heat 
And although I do have lots and lots of trees, none of it's seasoned. I've got some wood stored. I'd have to buy, buy firewood this year. So yeah, I've not really got my head around the wood stove. I really want it set up in here anyway, because I think it'd look amazing. Um, and I think it'd be a really nice addition to the house. But whether to rely on it for heat, I'm not, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure if that's the way forward. I'm sure, I mean, I was looking at um, uh, a mini split uh, reverse air conditioning unit, and it's like, you know, half the price of a flu. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You think, well, where are, where are we with technology? I'd like to start, I'd like to start thinking about maybe having the sun as uh, some form of help as well um, to, uh, you know, give energy to the house. So that's things in the future. So there's lots of things I'm thinking about. Um, so I won't waffle on about that too much more. Anyway, thank you as always uh, for your comments. Um, I've got the best subscribers in the world. Uh, some of the comments are negative and draining. So I get up every morning and I have a certain amount of energy. Um, I've just used some of it changing the duvet. I think if I was changing the duvet cover uh, in the morning at home, that would be my, if I, was, if I was not working, that would be my day's work, just changing the duvet cover. But here it's like a warm up. So you have a certain amount of energy in the morning and you go, right, what jobs am I gonna do? I'm gonna do this, 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 and this, and this. And you go, well, I'm gonna use a certain amount of energy doing that, certain amount of energy, and then you read your comments and you get a comment that just drains you a little bit more energy. So try and keep the comments positive. So what I've decided to do, this will go down well with a lot of people, negative comments, I'm just gonna delete. I don't, need to, I don't need that drain. I need you to lift me up, don't drag me down. If you could, that'd be great. Um, there's a million channels to watch, you don't have to watch mine if, if my channel's terrible. Um, you know, don't watch it. Uh, I've realized this month that basically the subscriber growth has stopped. So yeah, those thumbs downs basically tells YouTube that people don't want to watch your videos. So they don't show them to people. So there's no, there's no real new people seeing my videos, which is fine, that's fine, that's okay. So you just need to know where I am. So the people that I've got, I'll look after. You know, all those positive vibes that I get sent from all over the world, um, they're really important, really important. So the, the negative, you know, the miserable, um, um, are you sure you should be doing that? No, no, sorry, I, I, don't, I don't need that drain. I want you to lift me up if possible. So what I thought I'd do, since it's just us, um, so everyone knows what's going on, well, hopefully everyone, I will draw a little diagram of the house and talk you through my way of, my way of thinking, um, yeah, just to help people understand where I am and what I'm doing. Right, so the floor plan of the house is basically a square. Let's see if I can do this sitting, standing around the tripod. So yeah, the house floor plan is basically a square like that. And originally the front door was there and there is a central wall running down the middle of the house, which is the notorious wall I'm constantly working on. And this is where the back door is, or only door, because that is now a window. And this is how the house was. There was a wall dividing this area exactly in two. And I knocked that down and I, um, there's an entrance, there was an entrance to either bedroom there. So the wall went across there. There was an entrance into that room, entrance into that room. And this is the extension over here where the bathroom is. So that is about that there. That's the bathroom extension roughly and so what I did I, I built a wall at a jaunty angle which is my new bedroom with the window in it so this is where my bed is and this now is the living room and this is the space that's left so what I did before I did all this I started to divide this area up and I created this bedroom here. Uh, it's not quite as oblong as that. But what that did, that obviously gave me a passageway and there's a doorway into that bedroom there. And I've put a wall in here, a door, haven't I? So this is where the kitchen sink now is. 
and this is where the window is um, in the kitchen. So this is now the bedroom that I used to use, but I no longer use with the plywood panelling on the walls. And this is where my kitchen is now, which is where the units are. So yeah, obviously not to scale, but I hope it gives you an idea of where I am. So this is where, this is, this is the main wall going through the middle of the house. This is where I'm thinking about putting the wood stove. And the idea is to come through this wall and then the flue goes up through the ceiling. So my fridge is here, roughly. And on top of the fridge, I'll put my mini oven, toaster oven. And I've noticed over the last couple of days since I moved the oven from over here to here, is that when it's running, it sends heat down the middle of the house and it also heats the kitchen. So that's quite convenient and that's quite good. And I've noticed obviously making, the idea was to make rooms small, uh, make them easier to heat. And I think, because this is where my stove is at the moment, this is up and running and working, but it's obviously in another room. So I don't really plan to use that. So I do like to think of myself as a bit of a smart cookie, and I kind of think that small is the future. You've got a lot of people living in tiny homes, and I'd love to have lived in a tiny home, um, but they're far more expensive than something like this is to buy. Uh, and land is an issue, isn't it, obviously? But yeah, I do think small is the future. I think the days of people, uh, low earners, if you like, living in big places, I think that, that's not gonna happen. That, that, I do not see that as part of the future. And personally, I, as, as one person living on their own, I don't really need a lot of space. So this is about 930 square feet, uh, this house. I think that's more than, more than big enough for someone like me. So my idea, small rooms, easy to heat. And I've not been here through a winter with this room in this format, that wall. That wall wasn't there. I put that wall up, that's my jaunty wall. Um, that wasn't there. So now I've got a room, I don't know, it's roughly 15 or 16 foot by 14, something like that. And the bedroom is about seven foot by 14, something like that. So the rooms are quite small and they should really be relatively easy to heat. So I may give it a go for a few months just to see, is it possible to heat this house with electricity? You know, obviously it's possible. Is it viable? You know, I haven't used hardly any electricity for six months. For the six months I've been here, I think for the first month I had some heaters on. But for five months of the year, no electricity, electricity usage, electricity usage, just put it out, uh, for heating at all. So you kind of, you know, maybe you have to bank some money through the summer to spend on heating the house during the winter. Maybe that's what everyone does anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like it's been a proper ramble with this uh, video. Um, yeah, just quickly, I ordered the wood chipper yesterday and they tell me it's gonna be here in between three to five days. I, I've ordered it from the UK, but I'll be amazed. <coughs> I'll be amazed if it's here within a fortnight. Um, but that'll be good to get that, and then maybe I can start thinking about doing a bit of tidying up outside before it gets super cold. Um, and obviously the house, the house is, you know, it, this is a lifestyle, this living in a house like this. So it's not like you get it finished and then you put your feet up. The house is never finished. Um, there's, a, there's a thousand jobs I could think of and tell you about that need doing. Um, but it's like gonna be part of my life and I'm just gonna keep videoing it and putting it in my little diary. So it's good to have you along. I hope everyone's okay in America. I hear Florida's getting bashed um, big time uh, overnight. Um, so yeah, thinking of you over there. Uh, anyway, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.